Grade 8 math number 12.3c. We've talked about finding the distance between points in the last video, so now we're going to do it with a real-life problem. The Pythagorean theorem can be used to find the distance between any two points in a real-life situation. All we have to do is draw a coordinate plane over the diagram of the real-life problem. And using the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula, we can solve the problem. So remember, this is the Pythagorean theorem, and this is the distance formula, where the x's are grouped together and the y values are grouped together. We add them, and we can see they're squared, and they're inside of a radical symbol, okay? So Lisa wants to find the distance from her house on one side of the lake, down here, to the other side of the lake, to the beach. See that? We've got the coordinates of 10, 20 for her house, and 280 and 164 for the beach. So she marked off a third point down here to make a right triangle and the distance from her house to the new point, this green one, is going to be the x-coordinates. And then this distance between the beach and the new point is going to be the y-coordinates, okay? So the distance from her house to the beach is going to be the hypotenuse, isn't it? From this triangle that was made, okay? The distances are measured in yards, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find a straight line distance from Lisa's house to the beach. Okay? So, the first thing we do is find the length of the horizontal leg. That's the differences between the x coordinates. So, that's the difference between these coordinates and these coordinates on x. And in coordinate pairs, the first one is x, right? So, we've got 10, 20, and 280, 20, and the x are the 10 and the 280. Now, I know the 10 is first, but all you have to do is flip the 280 into the front, and the difference between these points is the absolute value between them. So you could say negative 270, but it's the absolute value, so we wouldn't use the negative sign. Remember what absolute value is? It means how far the number is from zero, and it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. We don't put the negative or positive sign. So the difference between 10 and a 280 is 270 yards, so that is the length of our x. So now we've got a, don't we? We find the length of the vertical leg, that's absolute value, and we look and we see that the y is 164 and the y is a 20. See that? Because these are the y coordinates, the second one, these are the x coordinates, and these are the y coordinates. So we have 164 minus 20 as absolute value, okay? And that comes out as 144 yards. So now we've got A and B. So we're going to use the 270 as A and the 144 for B, and C is going to be the hypotenuse. That's going to be the distance between the house and the beach that she's trying to find, okay? So we write it as the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared c squared, and we get 270 squared plus 144 squared equals c squared. So now we need to find out what these are. 270 times 270 is 72,900. 144 times 144 is 20,736. Okay? So now we've got 72,900 plus 20,736, and we add them up. We get 93,636, and that's what equals c squared. So now we have to square, find the square of both sides. So we can take this 2 away from the c by putting the radical sign around this side. Remember we talked about that in the last video? We need to find out what times what equals 9, 93,636. Well, I know right off the bat that 300 times 300 is 90,000. It's 3 times 3 and 4 zeros. See? 9 and 4 zeros. So I thought, okay, well, I'm getting close. So I tried 305 times 305, and I got 93,005. That's close, but not quite. So I tried 306, and look, 93,636. So it came out as 306 yards. That's how far away her house is from the beach. See that? So all we had to do was plug the numbers in and... Use the Pythagorean theorem. So basically what we did was the distance formula. So remember we had 270 and 144? So here's what we did. Here's the house's coordinates, and here's the beach's coordinates, and we didn't use the new point coordinates. We just used the house and the beach. And we used 
x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 right here as the distance formula. And we did our math. We got our 270 squared and our 144 squared. And we did the multiplication for those and got 93,636. And we figured out what times what equals that. And the distance is 306 yards. See? Distance formula. All right. We're going to continue on to our next unit. And we're going to start talking about volume. Isn't that exciting? So that's going to be chapter 13. And I hope I'll see you there. Bye.